93% of Americans plan to give out some kind of candy or chocolate this season. And of course, we can't talk about Halloween without talking about candy corn. This is a very hot topic. People get very upset about candy corn. Joining us now is Carly Childhouse. She's with the National Confectioners Association. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. So good to see you as well. Thanks for having me and happy Halloween season. Yes, happy spooky season. We're gonna get to the candy corn debate in just a second because I know it's out there. I wanna just talk about Halloween. What are the hot candies to be giving out this Halloween season? I really appreciate you asking me that because we have done the hard research on this to figure out the perfect treats for trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood. Coming in at number one, probably not a surprise, is chocolate. It is a classic treat that people love year-round and perfect for trick-or-treaters. Second up is gummy candy, so some of those uh, bold flavors, maybe some spooky shapes. We know that at least 60% of Americans say that they're looking for treats with a creepy or scary theme, so gummy candy is perfect for that. And you said it, number three, it's kind of controversial, but you can't deny it's iconic. Uh, that's, that's candy corn. And something else we found out is that parents are so excited for the Halloween season because 60% of them admit that they will steal some treats from their kids' stash. And we think maybe 40% of them are lying. <laughs> that's true. That is absolutely true. They have to check the candy, right? We have to make sure that it's safe. And the ones that they really like aren't safe, right? It's every, every parent thinks about that parent tax a little bit differently, but we encourage sharing of chocolate and candy. Absolutely. All right, you brought up candy corn. It's always a debate on whether it's good or whether it's not good. So there's actually a right way to eat candy corn? Yeah, the even hotter debate than if you like it or not is what is the right way to eat candy corn? I can tell you what we know, which is 31% of Americans are like me. They say they start with that narrow white end. 18% of Americans are gonna start with that on the other side with that wider yellow end. And then a little over half of Americans, 51% say that they just go for it. They eat the entire piece at once. But I'm curious for you, uh, if you enjoy candy corn, how do you eat candy corn? I am very surprised that people are biting candy corn. It's so tiny. I just eat them one at a time, which is usually just a couple. They're very sweet for me. Candy corn is one of those that I only have like two or three and then I'm, I'm out. However, however you eat it, if you enjoy it, it's definitely the right time of year to be enjoying candy corn. You cannot go into the season without talking about candy corn in some way. You guys are always paying attention to the best candy out there. If people want to get some more information, if they want to, you know, try to find the best candy or that, how can they find you? For any tricks for treating, we've got plenty of them at alwaysatreat.com slash Halloween. And then we'd love for people to join the conversation on social media using the hashtag Halloween treats. Yeah, I saw that hashtag Halloween treats. So what are people talking about when they're using this hashtag? Really anything. I mean, we're seeing so much of how people incorporate chocolate and candy into their celebrations. You know, the Halloween season is about so much more than just the night of October 31st. It's really about an entire season, you use the phrase spooky season, it's an entire season of celebration. And chocolate and candy can play an important role in each of those uh, in each of those activities, whether you're decorating your home with treats or baking with treats or enjoying some chocolate and candy as you make a costume, sharing with friends and family. Obviously, of course, trick or treating is is a big part of it as well. Um, but it's really about the full season. And so we're seeing people use that hashtag to share more information about how they're treating. We're using it to share more information about the season. Um, and it's a very, very fun conversation. We encourage everyone to join. Yeah, join that hashtag and let us know what kind of candy you buy for Halloween. That'll be fun to check out. Usually the rule in my house is you buy candy that you like so that if it isn't gone, then you have candy. That's every, again, every household is a little bit different in terms of how they approach it. But some people do tell us, yes, I want to get the stuff that I like. Other people say, oh, I'll get the stuff that I know that maybe a trick-or-treater will enjoy that I will enjoy a little bit less. So it just depends what's right for you and for your family. And that might be the better way to go too, right? Then you're not stuck with all this candy that you're going to eat. If the kids love it, they're going to take it. And then you don't have to be stuck with all that candy. Again, it's just so dependent on on who's coming through um, and, and how you approach it. I know for us, we know from Americans that they say that on average, they're giving out two or three pieces of candy. So if you are looking to, you know, make sure that you're making it go a little bit further or give a little bit more of it out, that two to three number is is right on target for most households.
Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We love this season because we get to talk candy, so we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me, and again, happy Halloween season.